To explore electronic commutation, we start with this circuit. Here we have a 24 volt power supply, multiple MOSFET switches, and that is used to drive a synchronous permanent magnet motor, otherwise known as a brushless DC motor. Now you'll notice the sequence. We have switches 1, 3, and 5 across the top, and 4, 6, and 2 across the bottom. The trick with electronic commutation is when to turn on which switch. For example, if we turn on switch number 1, that allows power to flow from the battery through the motor and then it can return on switch number 6. Later we could turn off switch 6 and turn on switch 2. Now power flows through switch 1, through the motor, and through switch 2. And we can turn these on in any sequence we desire with the caveat that we can never turn on columns. We could never turn on 1 and 4 at the same time. We could never turn on 3 and 6 at the same time. To do so would cause a condition called shoot through which short circuits the power supply. To better understand the commutation sequence I made this crude setup consisting of a brushless DC motor with a clamp attached to the top so you can see the position of the shaft. Here we have the switch connections for the positive, the switch connections for the negative, and this terminal block has the three phase connections to the motor. This smaller connection is for the Hall effect sensors which I'll describe later. We have six switches labeled as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now we can begin our sequence. So we'll start with switch number 1, 2, 1 off, 3 on, 2 off, 4 on, 3 off, 5 on, 4 off, 6 on, 5 off, 1 on, 6 off, 2 on, and so on and so forth. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. For those of you who are curious, this is what the inside of the motor looks like. Here we have the stator. You can see the windings very clearly, and you can see the laminations as well. If we turn it over, we can see the Hall effect sensors, which are mounted on this circuit card. Now the purpose of the Hall effect sensor is to tell the position of the rotor. So these smallish devices are in the magnetic field of the rotor as it turns round. And that information is typically fed back to a controller so that we know which of the three phases to activate and when. Speaking of the rotor, here's a compass that will allow us to see the magnetic field of the rotor as it's rotated round. We've made half revolution. And here we've made a complete revolution back to where we started. So you can see the north and the south poles inside the rotor. The main takeaway for electronic commutation is that sequence of operations. Those switches are labeled 1, 3, 5 across the top and 4, 6, 2 across the bottom as that represents the natural commutation for a three-phase system.